everyone. I wanted to quickly go over on how to set up oils and an inner keep defense when the uh, inner parchment wall comes down. That'd be the side walls. Uh, for the front door, I'll make another video for that, but I just want to cover the side walls. So, first off, you're going to need a ton of oils. I usually carry 6 to 10. Um, if there's a big raid out here, I come to the siege vendor and stock up and buy as many as I can. That's why I really did that and that's why I have 15 here. Um, usually a good idea to do that before this wall comes down because once this is down, this guy is pretty much dead. So you won't have any, any merchant to restock with. So buy as many oils as you can before the wall comes down. Then head up to the oil shelf. Um, hopefully Pugs didn't fill this area with fire ballistas because then we're screwed. Um, I would do this around that, maybe when the wall is at 25%. Run up here and set up these oils quickly. So run along this edge here. Don't fall off. And don't stand too close to the outer side because that's just asking to be speared off. And you'll probably die to fall damage. So get here, put your get to this corner, put your back to it. And here's where I put up my first oil. So this one is pointing at the stairs. So oftentimes when they break down the inner, they start crowding there. Uh, fighting the guards that come out, so this one's pretty good, that'll kill a couple people. Uh, next, I put my back to this wall, and I put up another oil, this one's facing in. And then I run, again, my back to the wall so I don't get scared off. Put another oil here. Try to put them as close as possible to each other, it could, that'll make it easier to run them off. And the last one I end up putting here. So ideally, once that a big group starts rushing in, this one hit the people. Hit the people in the front, then you hit the back of the grave. And then you get to hopefully there's people right there, slowing them down so you can hit them with all these oils. And then just run them non stop. It's very easy. Yeah, I'll shoot it. I'll do it for a few. take damage over time um, so that's why you have to carry a bunch with you and the way I set it up my back's always to the wall when I'm tipping I'm not standing here because well, again they'll just spear you off and you'll probably die down there so that's pretty much it if you get if one person does it it's gonna make it very difficult for an enemy raid to get get through here uh, we're gonna take a lot of damage doing, trying to do, get through. So, um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. If you're up there running oils, go ahead and put uh, any morph of meteor on your bar. Because you're gonna be killing people with these oils and you're gonna be getting ulti. And it's, you can aim and drop a meteor on people from up here while you're tipping oils. So that's probably the best ulti to be using up here. The if you're a sword, maybe astronaut would be good too. But anyways, um, if you're doing this, they're probably gonna put up on tons of fire ballistas on that tower, and maybe fire pots along that wall there. So you're definitely gonna need sea shield. To survive up here, Magic Contemplar is probably the best class to do this with. Um, but any Magicka class, as long as they can get those three things, can probably pull it off as well. Um, Fish and Purge from the Alliance support tree could work, and maybe.
Maybe any of the heals from the restoration staff line will help too. Also, not being a vampire would be good, but I've been able to pull it off anyway, so... So once we get one person up here running oils non-stop, everybody else should be crowding the stairs and holding in this kill zone. Nobody should be up here, you're just being useless if you're up here. You wanna be here to hold them under these oils. Um, you can put up a fire ballista on this platform for more damage. Uh, a lightning ballista would be good too to slow them down. Maybe a meat pack might work and try that out. these stairs is because when they run up here you want to be using your dom breakers, your destro ults, your root spamming them, slowing them, stunning them just to keep them under these oils because if they stop and fight you they're pretty much dead. They can't survive with all those oils dropping down on them. You got plenty of people already crowding the stairs you can get a second person up here uh, put up four more oils along this edge, pretty much doubling the size of that kill zone. And that's gonna be very difficult to get past. Um, what else? But yeah, if nothing's going on and you're just waiting for him to come up here, try and rep the wall. If they're not tagging it constantly with ballista fire, just close this on their faces. Um, the whole point of this is to buy time for the rest of the faction to come and clear out the keep. And maybe if the entire raid just wipes to you here, then you can pretty much just defend it and you can go out and clear out the rest and close the outer that close the outer wall. So uh, yeah that's pretty much it. The if they end up breaking the other side as well, just copy the same defense over there. One person running oils, and then a bunch of people crowding the stairs to not let them up. Um, with your stamina, definitely th put caltrops on your bar. And fill this entire uh, kill zone here with caltrops to slow them down. Um, and if they somehow do manage to get past all that and get up here to the uh, top floor. I mean, if a bunch die and a few make it, just go up and kill them quick. But if an entire raid makes it up here, don't worry about it. Just let them have the top floor. Um, if you're in the oil shelf, just jump off. Kill yourself. Everybody here on the, that was crowding the stairs, just jump off also. Kill yourself. And then fill this entire what? floor with fire ballistas and make our last stand here. Sh yeah. Set up fire ballistas to shoot tap flag. For example. Right there. And then go five this back. Uh, you're probably still gonna need sea shield. Uh, and at the top they can set up oils. Sea shield and purges. So yeah, just make our last stand here. Hopefully the rest of AD gets to us. Save the keep. If not, then we probably end up picking a bunch of oils. That's pretty much it. Hopefully, um, can now count on people to man that oil shelf and then keeps a lot easier now because um, I've seen people do this and they they kind of screw it up and point like I only have one pointing out there if you point three out there then they're kind of useless now if they get past them. so you only need one out there and three in remember that uh, that's pretty much it Thanks for watching.